Hi y'all, this is Elizabeth of Sparkle Stories and today I have a story of my own and this is my house because the story is about um, one of my own children. David and I have two children together and this is about our youngest and it's a story of sparking courage and the power of storytelling. So when Finn was in second grade, this is right around the beginning of Sparkle Days, uh, he was struggling to learn to read and he was really ashamed that he, you know, he felt like he wasn't up with his class and he would cry about it at night. I mean, it was tough. And we were talking to his teacher, of course, um, and tracking him and he, uh, but it, it was shutting him down. And so one night David did what David does, which is, and did with our kids and did with his own students and did, does with Sparkle, which is he told a spontaneous story, just intuitively right off the top of his head to Finn. And that story is a story called Jack Tar's Brave Day, which exists on the site now. It's one of our very best stories. I just love it. Um, and the st in the story, the story is about a, pri a pirate, Jack Tar, who's a famous, like, legendary pirate, and how his bravest day wasn't out on the seas as an adult. It was as a child when he was taken to school but couldn't read. I think he was, in the story he's taken to school as a bit of an older child, but he can't read, but he doesn't want to admit it. And then he's struggling, struggling, and then finally he admits it and his whole world transforms, right? And so he told Finn the story at bedtime. And then Finn goes to school the next day. And meanwhile, David does also talk to Dave, Finn's amazing teacher. This was in a Waldorf school. And uh, so Finn's teacher knew what was going on. And so at main lesson that next day, she told a story of her own about her stuttering and how she struggled with it and has been ashamed of it and has been working through that as an adult and asked if anybody else had a similar like challenge or struggle in their life. And wouldn't you know, one little hand shot up. Oh, one little hand and that being the hand of my Finn. And he said to his class very bravely, I am struggling to learn to read and it seems like you all know how to do this and I don't. And oh my goodness, his whole class, which was a dear, dear class, rose up in support and love and in encouragement and then all raised their little hands to tell their stories of where they were struggling. And in fact, they were struggling to read too and didn't want to show it. So, so that's my story for today. An example of the power of storytelling, an example of how it can spark the courage that already lives in you. It lives there. It's there. And it just needs to be sparked. And this story transformed that class. I should say that experience transformed that class and also really seemed to build character for my son because he's consistently been brave in sharing himself, uh, which is beautiful to watch. So I hope that was helpful. May you have all the courage in the world to face the things and do the things you need to do. Enjoy. Bye.